what's going on folks this is jagos and what i am going to do is begin to do the work of diagnosing the gaming industry this is going to sit here and i am basically going to sit here write it out talk it out and sit here and hash out the problems that i have with the gaming industry understood in like just one or two ways i'm going to split it up into five ways and make it something that everybody can understand this is going to be six videos each one is going to come out a week after each other where I'm going to basically start talking about these things and I'm hopefully going to be able to sit here and explain it in a way that everybody is going to be on board, understands the different places that these industries are coming to and how they are basically molded together and are created into what we know of as today. To my knowledge, nobody else has really tried to do anything like this. And the reason that I'm doing it is mainly because as I've seen it, not a lot of people have sat here and looked at the industry in a way that is taking a holistic view of everything and then sitting here and looking at the flaws, the, the strengths, the failures of each aspect of the industry and taking it into what it needs. Now, the fact of the matter is, with this being one of the first videos that I'm doing on it, I love to sit here and hear what you all want to see out of this series, what you all want to talk about out of this series, take some criticisms, so that way as I talk about each part of the industry that I'm going to sit here and split into five groups, I want you all to be able to sit here, take some criticisms, take some comments, tell me what you want to see out of it, some examples that you might think of these are the types of things now the videos personally will not be more than say 30 minutes 45 minutes because i'm asking a lot out of you all and i want to sit here see what you all are saying about it how you all are thinking about it and i don't want to sp sit here and spend too much time trying to basically put it so that a lot of people are well I, i'm just going to sit here and put up one video one picture and then go from there because the fact of the matter is with something like this with this being one of the first videos to be done about this type of topic some type of economic historical analysis of that you all have to see where the industry came from how these things came up and what are the challenges that each one faces so that way you all can sit here and look into the gaming industry now from here after I finish all of this, what I plan to do is sit here and make sure that some of the criticisms and commentary that you all are seeing all over the place, I'll be talking about that, but I'll be always alluding back to these videos in order to make sure that everybody is going to be on the same page. So that way, if I'm going to be talking about publishers, I'm going to sit here and refer you to this to that video. If I'm talking about marketers, I'm going to refer to that video, etc., etc. Now, the reason that I have this split up into five different groups is because a lot of people sit here and don't understand the difference between the gaming communities and the gaming industry. When regards to the industry, these are the people that sit here and finance games, they sit here and market video games, or they talk about video games in a professional or a semi-professional manner. These are the publishers, the marketers, and the journalists. They are part of the gaming industry. These are the people that are outside most of the communities, but they sit here and market to the communities of gamers that basically make up various different game communities of all types. Now, one of the things that I have to say is that the gaming communities are usually made up of two different people developers and gamers themselves by default when we're talking about the gaming industry the gaming communities or anything by default most people are assumed to be gamers until otherwise noted unless they are otherwise noted in any way shape or form just assume that they're gamers and for the most part when you look into the gaming industry those people are not assumed to be gamers but the gaming community by default gamers that's just one of the distinctions that i want you all to make you can market games but you may not care for them at all 
you may sit here and be a journalist for video games and you don't care for video games at all or you may be a publisher like Bobby Kotick and you will not care for games but you make money off of them so this is how that that dichotomy works we see that one group likes video games the other group does not and this sits here and basically sets us up for what is going to happen in regard to talking about video games when i'm talking about the gaming industry i am going to talk about aspects of the gaming industry that are going to sit here and make something finance a game try to find developers to sit here and make the game they are going to sit here and give the tools and the resources for the game to the gaming community in some way shape or form so that game can be published or whatever this is something that i had a basic framework in it with the inafune report however this is not something that i've talked about much here but this is something that's going to be very very pronounced and developed so that way i can talk more about it and when i sit here and from now on when I'm talking about the gaming industry, I want you all to understand that is either publishers, marketers, or journalists. While I'm talking, when I'm talking about the gaming community, I'm usually talking about developers and gamers. And as always, gamers are usually the default. Developers usually come from gamers, somebody that enjoys video games and then sits here and raises to the next level to create their own video games. It doesn't matter if it's a Newgrounds game. It doesn't matter if it's a game on Steam. Usually, gamers are the first ones to sit here, enjoy a game, and then sit here and decide to educate themselves on video games and take it to that next level to market their own games, create their own games, either in a small capacity or with a publishing unit of some sort. Whether that's Steam, whether that is... They created their own little one-man one shop. Those are the types of things that a lot of people really don't understand, really need to sit here and be talking about, really need to be discussing, but we haven't had that language quite yet. So that's what I plan to do. This is something that I want everybody to sit here and look into. Try to tell me what you want to see out of this series. Hopefully I can sit here and try to answer a lot of questions because I think that's something that's going to really try to un make the gaming community a lot more easier to understand when people can talk about it and then they're not confused about well the gaming industry is XYZ but we only have X so everybody talks about it that way so in the near future please give me your criticisms your comments your commentary let me know what you want to see. As I said, this is just a preliminary work to sit here and figure out what people are looking for, what they want answered out of this series. I'm going to be sitting here and changing it and be talking about it next week. I'm going to start and I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to talk about the publishers, which I've done again with the Inafune report. I talked about uh, KG Inafune and his relationship with Capcom what I plan to do is sit here make examples talk about the publishers in aggregate and then sit here and go from there so let me know what you all think take care and I'll see you all next time